Welcome back to my channel. This is Yosuke. Let me ask you a question. Um, if you experienced a situation like this, like a, somebody gave you the list of something or uh, the printed document, but you need to convert into some kind of a data, like, you know, the Word document or, you know, the Google Doc or whatever it is. So actual selectable uh, text file or data, right? So, I mean, you, you basically read it and type it one by one. It's very pain in the butt process. And, uh, you know, now we are living in, you know, the age of AI and why do I have to do this? Like a waste of my time, right? So this, the simple application I want to just introduce today is solve that problem very easy. So currently it's special on AppSumo is just uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. No, six dollars and fifty cents. Actually, so cheap, and just one-time deal, so you can just buy and use for forever. And uh, currently, only for Macintosh, but uh, I heard they planning to develop one in Windows. So I don't know when, but this is very simple, but it's very useful app. So let me demonstrate for you. So for example, like like um, there's a PDF. But it's a picture, so you cannot really select the text, but you need to convert into those texts into the actual data. So all you have to do is after you install this application on your Mac, there's an icon over here. So you click this to capture text, or there's a shortcut for that too. So either way, when you click that, there's a little um, what like target mark or you know the, the crossover changes so you can just select area you want to capture like this right and release the mouse and it uh, captures and read and it convert into text and uh, save it in uh, on your clipboard what you want to do is just open any text editor or in you know, a word or google document and here and paste it then boom it keeps actual text uh, the lines so you don't need edit it so here everything then you can here you can notice some like a gluten-free and those little icons it read and then convert it as a text as well so that's it that's simple application so you can just use it right um, there's a little more trick to it. For example, there's a situation like this, there's a list and you need to convert them into the data too. Unfortunately, I tried a couple of times, but you cannot just select the whole thing and it magically convert it into the spreadsheet file. It's not happening. I thought it happened before, but it didn't. So I just want to show you a uh, little tips. So what you want to do is go here and the capture text and take your first uh, raw here, like that, and go to spreadsheet and paste. So it keeps the row, so you can organize much easier, right? Then what you have to do is just repeat that process to capture this. And here, like that. One more time. Boom. So, let off it. You can fix it easily. So, that's really neat. You know, you don't have to look for the table and the copy one by one, and then you have you don't have to worry about you know if it's aligned or not. So it's it's pretty cool app. And the last thing I want to show you is actually say if you um, if somebody gives you a printed you know file or something then you need to capture it right so in that case all you have to do is click here and there's an option from import from my phone so when you click this there's a couple options and uh, all you have to do is you have a printed document in front of you and I take a photo click that and it's going to boot up the uh, the own camera app on your phone 
and you, all you have to do is uh, taking a picture of it. So you are not saying this, but uh, I'm currently trying to take a picture of a garage opener instruction, you know, one of those paper instruction. So just a part of it, just the screenshot. So now it's captured. Then all you have to do is come to any editor and paste it. Boom. Right? Very simple app. So again, it's a simple app, but it's very useful. So if you like this app, you can try from the link uh, listed on my uh, description. You can check it out and uh, hopefully this video helps you somehow. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this content, like more, uh, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.